Hello. In the second part, I would like to tell some words about the instrumentary for surgery. Uh, don't be surprised, it will be only very basic uh, surgical set for the most general experiments, both in, uh, in the studies and also in clinical practice. Uh, so, uh, first of all, we start uh, from cutting. For cutting, we use the knives. Here you have two kinds of knives. One which is indisposable. We can use it many times. Uh, you have a cutting part and you have the, 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 the uh, holder. Uh, and uh, that was used since centuries uh, in that shape or si simply it's, it's a little bit different shape. But anyway, it was used. It was necessary to sharp it, sharp the uh, the, 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 uh, the sharp edge uh, before, before every, every surgery. Nowadays, uh, we prefer to use uh, uh, a knife that looks like that, which is composed on two parts, uh, one which is indisposable, we can use it many times until it is lost, uh, a holder and also disposable disposable uh, uh, edge. We have uh, them in different size, also different shapes for different purposes. For example, this is an example of a very, very small cutting part of the knife, excellent for microsurgery. This is uh, the uh, a part for puncturing and this is one and the other. Uh, these are two, uh, two examples of, of the blades uh, for a uh, regular, regular cutting and also pointing because we can see here a sharp, sharp uh, ending of the, of the blade. Uh, in order not to be confused, we must control the number of the holder and make the purchases of the blades the matching matching this this number usually in our practice we use the the holders number four a bit bigger and three uh, uh, holders for uh, devoted for for microsurgical uh, cutting so a uh, Positives and negatives. This is one very simple, historically used. Uh, that one is very handy because we don't need to sharp that blade. We can just remove it. We treat it uh, um, uh, just uh, once. And when it is not sharp, even during the surgery, we change on new, uh, on, on, on our holder. How to fix it, how to remove it. First of all, be careful, it is sharp, we must do it very carefully. We usually uh, use the forceps for both removing and also for putting the blade in. The, for the forceps cannot touch the, the sharp edge, if not, if we touch it, we may damage the, 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 the sharp edge. So, this is the scalpel. Another equipment for cutting, and we have some of them, and I will try to... Uh, well, ah, another here, same size, same, uh, same, 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 uh, also number. Another instrument for cutting are scissors. Scissors here, here, and here also we have another example. No more scissors, okay. These scissors uh, are different. We have altogether a great number of, of scissors and I will also uh, show in the other part also some scissors uh, for example, such very small, delicate for microsurgery purposes, but that is uh, the topic of our uh, meeting regarding the microsurgery. We have 
three different scissors among many, many different kinds of scissors. Uh, these two pairs are straight, okay, are straight. This pair is curved. Why it's four? If we have something which is not exposed but very deeply in the tissues, such cutting, sometimes maybe more difficult, and the curve helps us to operate with the scissors more uh, ergonomically. So, we have carving and also we have the different endings of the, of the cutting part. Here we have two sharp endings. Here, oh maybe this is the last one. Here we have the scissors with one ending sharp and one ending which is absolutely not sharp. And look, another scissors that have neither sharp nor non-sharp, uh, something in between uh, 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 the ending. What is for this kind, this kind or this kind of scissors? With these scissors we can cut and also we can uh, also preparate the tissues very easily because when we put the scissors inside, when closed like that, and then we open, we can just separate easily the tissues without disturbing the continuity of the vessels. So we can preparate with very minimal bleeding. But in some cases, uh, when we want to cut something deep, close to major arteries or veins, such, uh, such sharp endings may be dangerous. That's why we use uh, another kind of uh, at the endings of, 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 the, of the cutting part, uh, which is not sharp, and with this we can even touch very delicate vessels, and by touching we do not puncture them, we do not injure them, so it is much, much safer. And these uh, scissors, uh, Mayo scissors, are uh, extremely nice for cutting delicate tissues and also separating them because it is extremely difficult to puncture uh, with these endings. So these, these scissors are really uh, liked by many, uh, not only uh, beginners, but also by the professionals for, 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 for cutting. Moreover, look at the corpuses. This is very strong corpus. These uh, scissors weigh something. These are very light. For uh, more delicate tissues, we use such very uh, delicate, light uh, equipment so this is for more delicate uh, tissues. This is even for general um, uh, purposes like cutting the skin in, in large animals. We can have also uh, the scissors with longer corpus, uh, enabling us to work inside the body in the, deeper, in the deeper places. And also we have something colorful. This golden painting or due to galvanization, it's not painting. Uh, we have um, um, uh, scissors which we can easily uh, recognize on the table among the other instruments. Why it is for? Is it for, I don't know, uh, fancy, fancy shape, fancy look? No. This is very important information that this is somehow special kind of scissors which have a special improvement, special support here on the cutting edge with very robust materials. So these are good for cutting even quite hard uh, tissues or, uh, or, or, or uh, another, another materials and do not need uh, frequent sharpening uh, in the uh, 
by the uh, 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 by the technicians. We have complete of all uh, instruments for cutting and partly for preparing. Then another part of uh, instruments for preparing the tissues or also for holding the tissues while preparing, while doing anything we want with our, uh, during our surgery. These are pen sets. Here I have three examples, but as a matter of fact, I have two examples, two different pen sets, one with teeth, it is called surgical pen set, and this, which has no such teeth, it's called anatomical uh, pen set. Uh, these two are for the same purposes, but in uh, different occasions. This uh, anatomical without teeth is for holding uh, very delicate materials, uh, separating very delicate tissues, and when we have larger, say muscle, tendon, other uh, part of, 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 of the tissues, and which is, which is harder, we do not afraid to uh, injure it while it is pressed, we use this surgical, we use this surgical pencil. And as you can see, uh, the pencils are in different shapes, sometimes can be longer, even almost twice longer than this one, and can be uh, used for a, 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 um, different purposes. And we have also a set of so-called microsurgical forceps, which have very fine, tiny the endings for holding especially, especially delicate materials. Then we have preparation, hemostasis. For hemostasis, we have forceps. We have here a collection of forceps. Yeah. Again, this is a great, great number of different forceps. I will show you only two, three, uh, the, most, the most popular. Uh, these are the pen uh, forceps. Pen forceps, one is straight, the other is curved. The same principle as in the case of scissors. Uh, for, for holding the, the, the tissues, uh, excellent for um, uh, also for stopping bleeding of, of some smaller, smaller vessels. And imagine if you try to find more deeply uh, a, a small tissue or just end of newly cut artery, uh, these um, uh, curved uh, uh, forceps are much more handy than the, uh, than the straight ones. Beside pean forceps, which are characterized uh, with uh, the, here only uh, such uh, ne, uh, very delicate, ne, ve delicate uh, finishing, we have also a forceps with the teeth at the end, same like in surgical uh, pen sets, and these are called coher forceps. Why pen co uh, forceps? Why coher forceps? Why myo scissors? Uh, this is uh, just to commemorate the inventors who first did Professor Pean, uh, Sergeant Mayo, Professor, uh, other professors who invented it. And here again, uh, forceps, Alice forceps, very uh, nice forceps for holding uh, uh, delicate tissues in, 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 one, in one point only. Because look, here you don't have the working uh, space, it's an empty space, holding effect is obtained only here of the, of the very, very end of the, of the forceps. And shape and size. 
here we have uh, regular size, uh, we can find also almost twice bigger this. Uh, for example, for doc, uh, for, for, for um, doc surgery, it is enough. For the pig surgery, it's uh, enough either. But for example, for cow surgery, horse surgery, sometimes it's necessary to have much bigger and, 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 and stronger instruments. And here is uh, an example uh, mostly for microsurgery or, or, or small surgery, the uh, 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 forceps, the myo, uh, 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 sorry, mosquito forceps, which uh, have very delicate working, uh, working part for smaller vessels. And these forceps are, are not used only in uh, microsurgery, but pretty often to, to stop bleeding of smaller vessels in any kind of uh, general surgery. So we have the forceps and then any kind of special of special instrument. For example, here a special instrument will be a truck which enables to hold the uh, wound open without, without a, uh, assistance. Okay, and finally we have a set of equipment uh, for a suturing. Needle holders. Needle holders again, all these three needle holders have golden uh, parts suggesting that the, the working uh, parts, the working edges are supported with uh, titanium or other very strong materials preventing uh, this part <coughs> from being uh, from being uh, damaged by the by the needle and we have this is the difference only in size okay i put it away we have two the most uh, frequently used needle holders this is uh, uh, Hagar needle holder, and uh, this is uh, another uh, holder, uh, Mathieu, uh, invented, invented by a French uh, surgeon. The, for the beginners, it is, it is very much appreciated, but in time, uh, all, most of uh, the, the, the surgeons change to Hagar needle holders from very simple reasons. It's very easy uh, with this lock you can see here destroy your gloves and you need to uh, change gloves on new the uh, sometimes pretty often that's why after first oh fantastic very simple uh, then uh, the reflection is okay we will change it on simple uh, hagar uh, hagar has also the lock and is a little bit more difficult to, to, to operate, but with time it became a really very handy uh, equipment. Okay, we know more or less uh, our instruments and now we need to position them on the surgical table. As you can see, the surgical table is already uh, supported with uh, sterile uh, tableware and now how to position the all the instruments and usually we start from uh, instruments for cutting so we put them on the top left corner the other for cutting scissors nearby then pencils then forceps, all extra equipment, also cottons, and finally needle holders. Why finally? Because this is the progression, progression of our work. We start from cutting, then we preparate, etc., etc., and finally we close the, the surgical wound with, with the forceps. Okay, so we have ready 
but we don't have all of the materials which are required. For proper cutting, we need also needles. And here I have a selection of needles. And maybe you remember when I was wearing the gloves, I told you that the, the gloves are coming with two envelopes, outer envelope, in, inner envelope, and here is also the same. Uh, this outer envelope we see here gives you the, the labeling, perfect labeling, what is inside, because sometimes we, you don't see really the, the, the needle or, or the trow. And uh, this uh, outer uh, uh, envelope should be opened like that and without touching the table because everything is here say sterile leave it on a on the table okay this is the end of demonstration now we can take this open uh, material and show you how to fix on the needle holder and then a little bit on different materials just two three minutes after opening we see a trough with a very fine needle we look for a needle and put it on the on the uh, uh, in the needle holder and very important is how to hold the needle properly. Look, this is relatively big equipment uh, and very small needle. We cannot hold the needle at the very, very end, at the very end, uh, uh, close to, 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 the, to the sharp end. We must hold it around one third from the place where the needle connects with the trough and never doing it with uh, 90 degree angle we do like 105 degree angle for easier suturing and when we operate we try not to put this trough on the side. We try to hold it in the hands and control because the, the, the trough can get, the, the, the pathogens can get dirty uh, in, uh, around. And now our equipment is ready, ready to use. Regarding uh, sutures, we have two types generally two types of sutures sutures which are not absorbable and sutures which are absorbable both of them can be natural or uh, not natural natural absorbable material is plain cut good or chromic cut good uh, made on a, a sheep uh, intestine uh, or uh, <coughs> for example silk uh, non-absorbable uh, which is used from many centuries for surgical suture. Here I have just examples of non-absorbable this is uh, nylon suture nylon suture it looks like this, I just opened this suture, the nylon suture with a traumatic needle. What does it mean, a traumatic needle? Needle is connected directly to the, uh, uh, to the uh, uh, suture and uh, this needle is uh, disposable. You throw it away after, after you finish this piece of trow. Uh, in veterinary, uh, you can also uh, find uh, traumatic uh, needles, um, but are less and less commonly, uh, commonly used. Okay, this is nylon, uh, which is non-absorbable. With this kind of suture, 
we suture first of all the skin. Secondly, when we, for example, need to put the cannula into the artery, into the vessel, lymphatic ducts, or in the gastro uh, gastrointestinal tract, we use this non-absorbable uh, non suture in order to fix all the cannulas, uh, the tubings uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, uh, in the tissues. Okay? And then we have another class. This is uh, a class absorbable sutures. Absorbable means that within a few weeks, uh, cut good, it is around two weeks, chromic cut good, it is more than three weeks, and this around uh, three weeks, the uh, uh, sutures, they are, uh, hold the tissues. Hold the tissues, fix the tissues. After the time, the tissue enzymes start to digest the, the trough and it slowly digested, slowly disappears. So, three, four months, for example, after surgery, this trough can be hardly seen, even the parts of this trough can be hardly seen in the, in the tissues. After a year, you won't see it at all. Uh, this is extremely good suture for suturing the muscles and suturing uh, so tendons, uh, uh, other uh, materials, uh, because, uh, you know, all the, all the tissues which are inside, covered by the skin, uh, do not need then opening uh, for removing, removing this, this suture. They will simply disappear. In the case of uh, non-absorbable uh, sutures, we need to remove them. Of course, we remove only those which are fixed on the, on the skin. Those which are fixed on the cannulas, I told you before, for experimental purposes, are not touched, are left. Aha, and I have forgotten also one thing. To um, suture, for example, vessels, very fine, small size uh, arteries or veins, we also use such, such uh, non-absorbable uh, sutures. And now I will show you how to fix the animal on the surgical table depending on its size. Uh, because uh, recently we already described how to prepare the table for the instrument, how to keep them in order, and now about the surgery table. This what you can see in front of me is a regular surgical table, good not only for human surgery but also excellent for any kind of animal, uh, up to say 100, 130 kilograms of body weight. So it can be dog, can be also a pig or or, or, or a sheep. This uh, table is handy because it is equipped with the wheels and we can elevate the table or change its position according, according to the needs in order to expose some organs uh, inside the body. But okay, what to do with the small animal like that, for example, with the mice or rat? Because will have an extremely large space which we cannot, we cannot use. Of course, we can put five, seven rats for surgery here, but it is not practical. For this purpose, for small animals, we use such a kind of table, which is uh, very handy because in addition to very nice uh, warming up system behind the, 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 the glass table where we can position in a wanted place with wanted exposure the, the animal. We can also fix the animal with the, the front and hind limbs. We can also use, using these two small lamps giving cold uh, light, 
we can also light the, 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 the area we are interested in, as well as we use the, the magnifying lenses for magnifying the object. These lenses are very simple, just piece of plastic made on the, made, uh, made uh, for, for such purposes. Anyway, uh, with, the, uh, with the magnification, five-fold magnification, it helps in, for example, preparing or suturing some uh, small details. But when we have to do more frequently, more uh, fine uh, surgeries, then we use usually special small adapters on our gloves or we use such kind of surgical microscope like we have here. It gives a much bigger uh, magnification. We can adjust this magnification and we can, 3D, we can get 3D, 3D view. It's really excellent for microsurgery, brain surgery, for example, for suturing extra small, uh, uh, for uh, extra small vessels. But for daily routine work, this kind of microscope is not that very much important. Such simple and relatively cheap, uh, cheap magnifying lens is enough. So, uh, all these sutures are put, of course, without the uh, external, uh, uh, the, uh, without the external cover, without the external envelope, here on the table close to the needle holder. And then we have the whole surgical table ready for use. It is all for now and I will welcome you for another parts of, of our short uh, training course uh, for, for the next parts uh, regarding the experimental surgery. Thank you.